I've lived in Toronto for the better part of 15 years now, and I've barely scratched the surface. There's a dozen stories happening on every street at every moment of the day. Today, I want to talk about what stands out to me as an artist, specifically as a photographer. Those things that make me stop and think, that'll make a good photo. To start, I don't do a lot of research before I head out the door to take photos. At most, I'll open up the map and find an intersection just so I know which direction I'm heading. Beyond that, I make sure I've got a camera and a lens. Lately, I've been using my Fuji X-E4. Today, I brought along the 27mm lens that came with it when I bought it. Since I've started shooting Fuji, I've fallen in love with their film simulations and how many options become available to you within the camera. I chose this particular simulation because it felt dirty, rusty. Which brings me to the types of things that stand out to me as a photographer. I like rust, grit, broken things, stuff that's been weathered, stuff that's aged poorly. Unfortunately, those things don't last as long as maybe they used to. When you live in a city like Toronto, stuff changes. There are still areas that hold on to some sense of history. Whether good or bad, there's a story. There's a feeling of something real there. It's the character of not only the people, but the settings and the elements that surround them that really draw me in. This is why I avoid doing a lot of research for the places I photograph. I don't want to create any preconceived notions that a certain place is going to have a certain something that I'm chasing after. I want to level the playing field and go with the flow. At least for this type of work, anyway. As I said in my previous video, in order to do casual photography, you yourself need to remain casual. So far, it seems to be working. I want to say thank you for coming along on this journey with me. I'm brand new to making this type of content and would appreciate any feedback you can give me in the comments as well as any likes and subscribes if you're enjoying the content. Until next time.